द प्राइम फैक्टराइजेशन ऑफ टू थ्री सेवन सिक्स इज टू डू द प्राइम फैक्टराइजेशन फर्स्ट वी शुड फ्रेम इट इन दिस वे सी दैट इज टू थ्री सेवन सिक्स ओके नेक्स्ट फॉर दिस नंबर द लास्ट डिजिट इज सिक्स विच इज ए वन सो वी टेक टू हियर द फर्स्ट नंबर इज टू वेन डू वी गेट टू इन टू टेबल टू वन टू द अदर नंबर थ्री अ नंबर क्लोज टू थ्री इन टू टेबल इज टू वन टू थ्री माइनस टू इज वन वन कैरेट फॉरवर्ड मेकिंग इट सेवेंटीन अ नंबर क्लोज टू सेवेंटीन इन टू टेबल इज टू एट सिक्सटीन Seventeen minus sixteen one one carried forward making it sixteen. When do we get sixteen in two table? Two eights sixteen. Now for this number the last digit is eight which is e one. So we take two here. The first number is one one smaller than two so we take two numbers that is eleven. Whenever you are taking two numbers zero is compulsory but at the start whether i put zero or not it doesn't make any difference so i am not writing zero here here we have 11 a number close to 11 in two table is 2 5 10 11 minus 10 is 1 1 carried forward making it 18 when do we get 18 in two table 2 9 18 18. next number 8 when do we get 8 in two table 2 4 8 Now for this number, the last digit is four, which is e one. So we take two here. The first number is five. A number close to five in two table is two two four. Five minus four one one carried forward, making it nineteen. A number close to nineteen in two table is two nines eighteen. Nineteen minus eighteen is one one carried forward, making it fourteen. When do we get fourteen in two table? Two sevens fourteen. Now for this number, the last digit seven, which is not e one. So this number is not divisible by two. Next to prime number three. To check divisibility by three, for that we should add the digits. That is two plus nine plus seven. We get eighteen. Is eighteen divisible by three? Yes. So this number also divisible by three. So we take three here. The first number is two. Two smaller than three, so we take two numbers. That is twenty nine. Whenever you take two numbers, zero is compulsory. But at the start, whether you write zero or not, it doesn't make any difference. So I am not writing zero here. So here we have twenty nine. A number close to twenty nine in three table is three nines twenty seven. Twenty nine minus twenty seven is two two carried forward, making it twenty seven. When do we get twenty seven in three table? Three nines twenty seven. Now here the last digit is nine, not e one, so this not divisible by two. To check divisibility by three, for that we add the digits. That is nine plus nine, eighteen. Is eighteen divisible by three? Yes. So this number also divisible by three. So we take three here. The first number nine. When do we get nine in three table? Three three is nine. The other number nine. When do we get nine in three table? Three three is nine. Now here the last digit three not e one. So this not divisible by two. To check divisibility by three, for that we should add the digits. That is three plus three, six. Is six divisible by three? Yes. So this number also divisible by three. So we take three here. The first number is three. When do we get three in three table? Three ones three. The other number three. When do we get three in three table? Three ones three. Here we got eleven. Eleven is a prime number, so we take eleven ones eleven. We got one here. So the prime factorization of two three seven six is the product of these numbers. Okay.
product of these numbers that is 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 3 and finally into 11. This is the prime factorization of 2376. This also called as product of prime numbers of 2376. Am I clear?